Oh yeah, you ever dream of a car when you're as a kid? Ha, 55. Yeah, right, buddy. Don't worry, we always go the speed of safe. Oh my goodness, this thing sounds good. I have always loved the Vipers. I have no idea why. Maybe it's just the V10. Maybe it's the the muscle car look to it. Maybe it's just the sound of that V10 while it's revving up. What screens the 2000s as a Viper? All right, today the implement dealer here, the John Deere dealership, has a huge auction, which works out for us, because guess what? Ooh, I like that truck there. We need to get ready for harvest. I'm hoping to strike a few deals over here. I thought it would be just be nice. I mean, perfect car for a farm auction. They know you're a serious bidder when you drive up and a Viper. Where to park this thing? I parked it out here in the middle of nowhere. Somebody door dings find Viper GTS Blue. Ooh, tell you what, you're gonna get it. All right, so let's see our stock of uh, implements here. So we got a huge Ford Versatile. Got a grain cart with it. The 846. It's big old fatties on there, so that wouldn't be a bad item to have on the farm. For some reason they hit a uh, 4955 back here. Not for sure if this is for sale or not. Huh. The door is locked, so I don't know. Maybe it's for sale? Not positive. Now this is an option, a 4730 sprayer. Now I wish I had this when I was going through my crops, but I guess I could have raised it up. I don't know if this raises up or that, I think that's just a suspension. Maybe it raises up. It probably wasn't high enough for my high corn I just sprayed, but these uh, wheel guards would have helped the leaves on the corn a lot going through. Pretty nice cab. Hmm. This is definitely an option we need to consider. Don't know if I can really afford a self propelled sprayer. Might have to just rely on the Jake. The Jake at the co op. The Jake op. Alright, so we got a 50s, 50 years case Steiger. 535. I'm pretty sure uh, Grant has one of these on his farm. It's kind of eyeballing it on his farm. Let me say I was a little jelly us. So, yeah, I needed one on my farm too, but uh, I think that's too big of a tractor. It's probably going to go for a pretty big penny. Obviously, somebody traded it in here at the John Deere dealership. These tires are gigantic on this thing. These things, I mean, look. Higher than I am. Big 1326 grain cart here. A J&M. The Grain Storm. Got a little Alice Chalmers. I'm not for sure if this is just in for repair or if that's in the auction. They should have listed some of the auction pieces here. So, the John Deere dealership got in some new R-Series tractors. I love the muffler. Hmm. An 8345R. It's got uh, duels all around. Look at that fancy thing. Now, uh, let me tell you, that's going to have a lot more traction than our 8100. Man, I wish I could trade in the 8100 for one of these. That might be a good deal to get through. Get the 81, get this, get this uh, giant 1326. Man, that's probably too big of a grain cart 
for this tractor. It's got a rock bucket in the front. Good option. Ooh, they have another one over here. So this is a uh, 8270R. Hmm. Hmm. Choices. This looks like uh, you can put front four duels on it. It's got the five light front. It's already fitted with the 3000 series. Hmm. Quick hitch. It's got the weights in the back. Hmm. Five remotes. It's got dual screens. I don't know. It's, huh. You're definitely going to have to do a lot of uh, choices here. Open up the door here. Yeah. That motor. Nice and clean. Somebody definitely took care of this thing. Doesn't have many hours on it. Man. We are going to have to consider purchasing that thing. Definitely a pretty looking tractor. Ooh. I saw this while I was driving up. And you, huh. I like you. I like you a lot. Man. Love the rims, love the tires, almost a perfect look. It's got the browning sticker on the back. It's my type of truck. Ooh, I remember running over this the other day. Huh, hopefully they didn't get a look at me. Now this thing, an 8440 John Deere. Now that's, I've always liked the looks of this. Even though the hood's are just so small for the big tires. But this thing would be kind of nice on the farm. It's got weights in the rear. Looks like it has an aftermarket three-point hitch, which is kind of weird. I thought, I, I've, I'm sure they came stock, but this might have not, and they put an aftermarket the gleaner cedar galvanized cedar here right here an R65 now I'm just I'm just making fun I wouldn't mind getting another harvester just to compliment especially beans I think we got some custom ground to do this year man I just love the look of the front of the gleaner is this beast bun Beast by and we meet again. Hello. Axle flow. So it really isn't beast buying. This is an 8120. It's got the big LSWs on the front though. Love the American flags. Love that patriotic. Oh, have I missed you? Beast buying. Now this is an option. I sure hope somebody else doesn't outbid us. So there isn't too many uh, people walking around here, but I told there's going to be a lot of uh, this. Th this is their first trial and error doing an uh, auction on the internet. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Talk about tires. Got some rubber all over the place. Look how wide that thing is. Oversized, yep, yep, that's a true statement there. That's got a lot of traction, so that looks like 30 inch spacing triples. Usually, you only see this over there in the Kentucky area. Oh, I wonder how this tractor got here. Old International, they couldn't wash it up for the auction. That's weird. All right. Had my eye on this when I drove by. This would definitely be a nice little loader tractor. I'd be amazed at how much you would use one of these little loader tractors here. Got a little mowing deck on the back here. Chore tractors, you know, they, they hold their value. They're pretty uh, stiff value holders just for the fact that 
so many people have a use for them. 4000 series diesel here. Open station, rear duels. You can always use another 4000 on the form, that's for sure. John Deere grain. Look at that thing. It starts right up. Man, I just love the looks of these old uh, 50 series John Deere's forward tank there on the front. You know, this has a little sunshade. Huh. I mean, I've been a little envious of Grant's 4440. I wanted my own. This, this might finally be the day. Definitely gonna watch this thing sell. So I have to say, had a pretty hard eye on these. My neighbors, my viewers, I, I hear you. You guys definitely wanted me to get an 8820. These things, hmm. So, love the looks of this thing. I don't know, I mean, this is one of, my opinion, one of the most iconic John Deere harvesters out there. I mean, th there's a lot of these still running in the field. Ooh. This is another one, a Titan II, the green cab. So the Titan II has a lot less uh, separator hours, which is kind of obvious because it's newer, but you never know. Huh. I mean, to be honest, one of the things about this, even though you sit at the side of here and the, the cab is a lot smaller than the STS's nowadays, I mean, the view is just, you can't really top this. Yeah, you're not centered, but just look at that view. It would be nice if it was rear wheel drive. It does have duels on the front. All right, gotta load this up. Ooh, backing it up here. Obviously, the sale is over. Yep. I think you can probably tell one item I purchased here. Eh, maybe two items here. Looks like I might have a little bit more room on this trailer. I got some room, so I need some opinions. I need help. What did I win the bid on at this auction? What? Out of all this equipment, leave it down in the comments. I will, and the number one bidded comment will get the win. So, but thank you all for watching. And I will see you next time over here in the 2000s. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share and subscribe. See you next time. Seriously? I mean... Uh, was there no other room?